Can fashion be considered an investment? Take a good look at yourself. Is this the real you? Love leads to beauty. Beauty leads to love. It is the duty of every woman to be beautiful. Satin skin, moisture dew, almond cream, white shoulder. Make yourself your hobby. If this under 30 thing is denting your ego, you should try this cream. Every woman alive loves Chanel number no. five. Do it with style. Beauty is that quality which pleases the senses and exalts the mind and spirit. It is the natural right of every woman to be beautiful, to express that cosmic urge which draws her ever closer than her counterpart to the springs of life. Beauty is the daily nurture of oneself. It demands a viewpoint wide enough and wise enough to include all the world of experience and intuitions. True beauty comes from within. Keeping up appearances is far from being a shallow cliché. It is the stuff from which beauty is made. Beauty, with its profound implications of order, is one of the masks of joy. The true beauty is the gloriously contemporary woman living in an expanded sensory universe tuned in to all the right vibrations. She is perfectly groomed, she says the right things, she wears the right clothes. The true beauty isn't shy about being a woman or reticent about using any means of persuasion to get her message across. Your beauty is you. Good evening. How lovely you look tonight. Come in and have a drink with us. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Hi. 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 Oh, great. Come over. I thank thee, Lord, that thou hast not created me a woman. I thank thee, Lord, that thou hast created me according to thy will. We should regard the female nature as afflicted with a natural defectiveness. Man specializes. This is manhood. Woman civilizes. This is womanhood. The division of the sexes is a biological fact, not an event in human history. It is a woman's nature to be ruled by man. It is her sickness to envy him. Women must save all their energies for the race. Woman is a creature, neither decisive nor constant. To quote Sigmund Freud, Law and custom have much to give woman that has been withheld from them. But the position of women will surely be what it is, in youth an adored darling, and in mature years a loved wife. He also said, the great question that has never been answered despite my 30 years of research into the feminine soul is, what does a woman want? Well, let's just assume that a person reaches a point in her life regardless of, of where it is, where she says, who am I as a person? Not, um, who am I as a woman? But it seems to me that the first and basic question that comes before who am I as a woman is who am I as a person? Or what do I want? What pleases me? What satisfies me? What do I want to do? I guess it was somewhat like saying, who in the world said I have to be like anybody else? Why can't I be an individual? Uh, why should someone else set, set their standards or impose their standards, even of beauty or life itself on me? I am an individual, unique in itself, so I have something to offer somebody else as I am. One of the things that, to me, it's very important that a person recognize who, who he is. When you recognize who you are, what you are for, then you can relate to other people better. Also, it frees you to be free to express yourself as an individual. I've always wanted to work. 
in a work that was meaningful to me. On the other hand, I've always wanted to have a home. Are the most important things to me are work and love. And the love includes um, a man and children. And it's hard for me as an individual, indeed I don't attempt to separate these things, they just occur naturally. But um, you can often um, sort out people you meet, not just men, but other people, in terms of whether they see you functioning in a variety of roles or whether they, as you, do not think of you in terms of uh, functioning as uh, a career woman, as a scientist, as a mother, as a wife, but just, you know, being a human being, going about the business of uh, filling your life and satisfying yourself with a work that's meaningful which entertains you and which also perhaps um, offers something to society and also uh, fulfilling yourself in terms of love, of having children, of having a man, and of making a home.